We're here at the Black Forest in Germany. Hi, I'm Jody. And I'm Kelly. And we're JK, JK Cruising. Cruising. First excursion to the Black Forest. Riding to the Black Forest and back today.
what you're seeing here are a number of tools that they used uh, back in the day, um, how they made tables, um, where they put their daily bread, um, how they picked and gathered um, blueberries and different things throughout the facility. Most of these things were made um, through, you know, with wood back in the day because that was what they had an abundance of in the Black Forest. So you're going to see a number of like tools and implements and things that they used to crush the berries that they picked, wine presses and things like that, um, that they would take and, and use to create um, the, the, the fruit that they got from the cherries there in the Black Forest and those types of things. So you'll find these sorts of implements and tools all through throughout uh, facilities here uh, in these homes. And these homes are super cold and super dark and dense. Um, they just feel um, very heavy, it feels like, um, because they just, um, the air in it is cold and uh, the mood and feeling. I don't know how people uh, made it back in the days through those things, but um, as you saw previously, the kitchen was completely black. Uh, from all the smoke and stuff that had happened over the years in there. But these houses were built in the 1600s and 1500s, so they've been around a long time, and they're in perfect condition. What do you believe it was totally different than the street? And there's all sorts of implements and tools hanging on the walls. These are blueberry combs, so you can imagine taking those and running them through the blueberry bushes and collecting all the blueberries. And there's a press... Um, and there's the blueberry baskets that you collect all your blueberries in and another press uh, to extract the juices from the fruits that they pick, cherries or whatever the case may be. And again, more blueberry bushes and more presses. All sorts of wooden handmade presses are out here uh, and tools and implement um, and again, baskets to pick all your fruits and vegetables with. So pretty crazy how they did it back in the day. You may find it interesting that uh, some of the women wear these pom-poms on top of their head. That's called a ballin' hut, and it's uh, for young unmarried girls who wear hats um, to, to symbolize that they are single. Um, and uh, married women wear um, black pom-poms on top of their hair. That's been around since the 1750s and has become sort of the um, sort of the traditional costume worn by women uh, in the three neighboring Black Forest villages of Guttak, Kiernbach uh, near Wolfhawk, and um, Reichenbach near Hornburg since about 1750. You may find it interesting that since 1997, the term Black Forest has been a protected geographical indication in Europe, uh, which means that any product sold in the EU, in the 46 or so countries in the EU, as Black Forest ham must be at least partially manufactured, prepared, processed, or produced uh, within the Black Forest region in Germany. Um, however, outside the EU, um, like in the United States, for example, um, we don't honor those types of um, quality or marketing and, and sold Black Forest ham here in the United States. is produced all around the world. Um, so that's just an interesting little fact.
hear him. I was just waiting on him to for the people to come down. As you can tell, we just had wonderful weather while we were on this entire trip. Other than a little bit of snow in Basel when we first embarked, the rest of this trip in Germany, we've had sun when we weren't supposed to have sun. We've had no rain when it should have been raining. Um, it's just been a pristine experience for us and the timing couldn't have been better. The weather cooperated very much with us and um, other than just walking around on some, some slightly muddy roads, this was just a perfect experience. encourage you guys to make sure that you read the signs, abide by the signs, but more importantly, know what the signs say. Um, the sign on the donkey here did not say, don't touch, um, because it might bite. It says, please don't feed the animal. <laughs> A lot of people walk up to the donkey and the sheep wanting to pet them, but because it's spelled B-I-T-T-E, um, that was the first uh, word in the sentence they thought it meant the animal might bite um, but a quick Google revealed um, translation revealed a quick Google translation revealed that it said please don't feed the animals so um, it's good to know that you can pet when you can pet um, always be uh, cautious of animal wild animals or even uh, tamed animals but um, it's good to know what the words mean on the sign so use your phone while you're out there google it up uh, make sure you know what you should or shouldn't be doing
Oh, weiter schön da ein paar Bälle. This is one of several sawmills that we saw at the facility where they were cutting logs or having illustrations of how they cut logs back in the day. So pretty cool, pretty big facility here to cut uh, lumber. So.
know that you have all of your small items with you, your mobiles, your umbrellas, your sunglasses. Uh, for sure, you're checking out the bus, but it's always easier if you have all of your things with you. Um, also, you will see, I guess, that will be only the one.